We are now joined by Talmadge Magno, the administrator of civil defense. Um, appreciate your time. Just wanted to, you know, go back over a little bit, just this whole Mauna Loa thing. You know, it was interesting how everything begins, basically. And, you know, this one you get the call in the middle of the night that, that it's, uh, looks like it's going to erupt. And so, you know, we had done that scenario so many times. Uh, and, and we know in our discussions that things in the middle of the night it's probably the worst situation um, because it adds more complexity to any evacuation, any response. So that was, you know, the worst situation. But um, nevertheless, we, we gathered right away, we organized, uh, everybody responded to our emergency operations center and, and got everybody activated and, and right away we were monitoring just trying to get a handle on where the flow was. Mm -hmm. um, you know, right away the feet start coming in, you know, that people are seeing it from all these different vantage points. We were getting word that people were self-evacuating out of, out of Ocean View, out of the South Kona area. Um, you know, on our end, we were comforted because we knew that the flow had not traveled down right. the Southwest Rift yet. So we knew that, you know, there was no life safety threat at that point. Um, but managing what was going on was happening. We quickly dedicated two evacuation center shelters for f folks to go to, um, you know, just in case they needed it. In, in, in uh, some cases they did um, go to the Kona one, the Co Kona airport. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that, that progressed and not till early in the morning did we HVO detect the magma right. moving down the northeast rift. So, you know, based upon all what we've been educated and, and trying to share with the public, we knew that at that point we were weeks to months from any kind of impact to right, the community. Right. So yeah. you kind of breathe a sigh of relief for, for this area. Um, right. But then you start focusing on that side, what's going to be the impact on that side. You know, so definitely the, the operations fell into place and, and there was plenty of support from all levels of government, from the public, um, getting information out. So yeah. we comment now that it was kind of the best scenario. We got lucky that it didn't go into any community right. like it did in 2018. So, um, you know, end up being kind of like a spectator sport basically right and that's the next thing i want to talk about was the viewing area because that's something that we weren't able to do in 2018 it see it took a lot of coordination it looked like between what was county state kuakaloa training area i don't even know who else dot but um how did you how did you uh, from the county standpoint how was the viewing area? Because I hear a lot of people raving like, oh, it was a life, once in a lifetime experience, those types of things. And how was it uh, to, to facilitate that um, from a county perspective? Was it challenging? Was there all kinds of obstacles, pitfalls? Well, it, there's definitely the challenges, but with the partnerships that came together, we we're lucky that, that that old Saddle Road portion existed. Um, the other option would have been because of the potential life safety risk on that highway with the high speeds and so forth, there was going to be some possible changes to access to that road if we never came up with that yeah. that that detour that you know um, kind of helped mitigate the traffic issues. So you know the mayor, uh, Mayor Roth, and um, Parks and Recreation director. Mo Messina were up there one day looking for you know what other alternatives they had and they came up with that idea quickly put it together and, yeah. and, and talked to um, uh, uh, the colonel up at PTA and then things came together yeah I um, really appreciate you guys you know doing going that extra bit because I know there was you know probably pressure just close the road and you know do that kind of yeah but you know we um, all the partners were there, and a big partner in this event and setting up that area was State Departments of Transportation Highways. 
Um, you know, they were a big player, made everything happen. But um, you know, we're coordinating because, like I say, the the life safety risk to the people driving, just commuting, or, or and the people viewing was a big concern and, and we had to come up with an alternative or it would have been a, a change in the situation of, of DKI. Right, and there was all those accidents right beforehand too, and then right. just, just piling up up there and yeah. becoming yeah. an unsafe situation it was. Yeah, sure. you, you, see the, you saw the trends and, and we didn't want that to happen. You know, unfortunately, this island is no stranger to that because in the, in the pool flows, the big fountaining periods, when people would go to view that along Highway 11, uh -huh. there was numerous fatalities during that period. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you got a highway that's running 55 miles an hour and all these pedestrians there. It's, it's just a, a, it's a similar, I didn't even think disaster. of that, but yeah, that would be a very similar type circumstance where yeah. guys are pulling off of this road onto places that there is no shoulder and they're making their own shoulder. Yeah, yeah. They, yeah. Uh, we're stepping out of their cars into the brush off going, the hill. Yeah, yeah you know, it's, uh, so, like I said, yeah. it, it kind of worked itself out and it was a good situation. Yeah. yeah. Well, hey, I appreciate you putting all this on, coming out to the communities. I think, you know, it's very important um, to keep that presence up, right? You know, I mean, we see it too. Whenever there's activity and, you know, the talk of the mountain, everybody wants to come and talk about it. But it's times like this, right, where really the work gets done and really you start getting those branches out into the community for the next one. Right, like, absolutely. The next... Like, like I've said, the next eruption started when this last one ended. Yes. And so, you know, we thank you guys for your your efforts to put the message out as well. All right. Yeah. Well, thank, thank you, you, sir. Thank you.